Hello Sugar Plums, welcome back to my channel and thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed, like, comment on my last video. Today's CIY guys is about to blow your mind. I'm about to go ahead and transform some old car tires into some sofa chairs. Guys, if you haven't done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so you guys can be notified on all my new uploads. Guys, if you're ready, let's just go ahead and jump into that tutorial. Okay guys, the first thing that I did was measure the diameter of my tire and then I used that measurement to cut two circles on a thick plywood that I got at my local shop. Then I added some glue on one of the circles and then added the 4 inch firm foam on top of it. Now because my foam came into a pre-cut square shape, I had to cut it to match my circular piece of plywood. And guys, as you, as you can see, the foam did not cover the whole thing so I just added pieces of the foam that I cut earlier to the places that uh, didn't have any foam and then glue them together until the whole thing was completely this covered. This is the fabric that I'm gonna go ahead and use. Placing the seat cushion on top of it gave me an idea of how much fabric I needed. Then I'm gonna go ahead and flip the cushion upside down and staple the whole thing together. Guys, I realized that I forgotten to pre-drill my seat cushion so I went off camera, removed the staple from the four corners of the seat cushion and then I placed it on top of my tire and drilled four holes into the plywood through the tire. And then I added four nuts to the seat Cushion. Then we're going to go ahead and set that aside and start working on the tire itself. I cut a long strip of 2 inch foam to the circumference of the tire, then I added glue to both the tire and the foam, glue them together and then staple the top and the bottom part of the foam to the tire. Also pre-cut a long piece of the same um, black fabric to the circumference of the tire and I stippled that fabric to the tire just as, as I did for the foam. I also made four small cuts to the fabric in order to help me staple the fabric to the tire better. After we finish guys, we attach the seat cushion to the tire using the four bolt from the seat cushion. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip the tire upside down and add the nut to the bolt, making sure the seat is firmly and securely attached. guys now we're gonna go ahead and construct the back support of the chair and for that we are using six beams of 30 inches long by 2.5 inches wide by 1.5 inches thick now we're gonna go ahead and mark the placement of each beam first and then cut the fabric and the foam until we see the tire Now 
guys, we're gonna go ahead and drill on through the beam into the tire and fix four bolts per beam. Then after that, we're gonna finish attaching all the six beam to the um, tire. Then we're gonna flip it to its side and securely attach the nuts to the bolt. Now this is how it looks after it's all finished. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue to each one of the beam and then we're going to go ahead and glue a strip of 2 inch foam on top of each one of them. Using the same black fabric we made some sleeve for each one of the beam. Now you see me here slipping the sleeve in each one of them and then any excess fabric that is left from the top we're going to tuck it inside it and then we're going to flip the chair upside down and I'm going to go ahead and staple the rest of the fabric to the beam to give it a nice and neat look and then any excess fabric that we don't need we're going to go ahead and cut that as well. Now moving on to the bottom of the chair guys, we use a second circular plywood that we had previously cut. We glue some non-woven polypolyene fabric to it and we're going to go ahead after we finish gluing that, we're going to cut any excess fabric um, that is left. So just to give it like a cleaner, nicer, you know, look. And this is how the whole thing's going to look after we finish gluing the fabric to it. Now, after we finish doing that, guys, this is the part that we're going to go ahead and add this um, um, plywood to the bottom of the chair. And then we're going to drill and add four screws uh, to secure the bottom. Now, guys, unfortunately, I did not realize that my camera had died by the time I was attaching the leg. Uh, so I do not have the footage for uh, this part, but you know, it's just me attaching the leg guys is not, you know, nothing that's too hard to do. Just go ahead and take the leg and then, you know, you attach them depending on what kind of leg you have. Mine had uh, four holes in them and just screw uh, four screw in each leg and then attach them securely. And that was it. That, that, that's all there is to it, guys. Now, after we finish doing that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you the leg that I had purchased. And those legs I really like because they're very clean and neat looking. And I thought they went well with the design that I had. Now, after um, doing all this, guys, that's it. That's it for the bottom part. Now, all we have to do is the back support pillow. And to do that, guys, you're going to go ahead and measure, you know, all the beams from one end to the other end. And then with the me that measurement, we went ahead and cut the fabric for the pillowcase. And then we're going to go ahead and sew both on the side and the top part as well as we're going to go ahead and add a zipper at the bottom part. And then uh, with that same pillowcase, we're going to go ahead and cut a piece of foam or two inch foam. And then I went ahead and double it inside to give it more, uh, you know, uh, um, thickness. And then we're going to go ahead and add four uh, buttons, two in the front and two on the back. So just to give the, the pillow itself, you know, a nice little shape. And then we're going to go ahead and cut uh, two pieces of um, 12 inches ribbon, um, um, 12 in total because we need six uh, for uh, one for each beam. Right in the center where you have three inches, we're going to go ahead and sew it where exactly each beam going to uh, fall. Then that was it guys. Uh, the only thing that's left to do is place the pillow into the back of the chair and then tie each ribbon to the, uh, to the beam, you know, and then that's it. I was really, really, really happy with the, the end result guys. I'm going to show you guys and I made a whole set of four chairs. <laughs> And you guys can see it looks really amazing. I have an extra seating area in my living room and I'm really, really, really happy with how the whole thing came through guys. 
and I'm really really happy guys I really hope that you guys can go ahead and do that project yourself as you can see guys I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and show you shot of you know close up and different angles and also guys the the coffee table that's in the middle that's also a tire I'm gonna go ahead and upload uh, a video um, that show you exactly how I did that uh, I'm editing right now so it should be up soon make sure guys you go ahead and press the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload that video as well so you guys can go and see it the project itself is really really easy but it's best if you have you know somebody that help you because with all the drilling and all the stains guys and you know you're probably gonna need a second hand and that'll be best and much easier for you now guys I'm gonna go ahead and let you enjoy the rest of the video and I also added some uh, photos at the end um, guys thank you so 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 very much for stopping by and thank you so very much for to all of you who had watched my last video and give me all the love and support guys I really appreciate that if you haven't done so guys please go ahead and subscribe to my channel I will really 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 appreciate that and also guys like this video if you enjoyed it leave me a comment and like I say guys don't forget to uh, hit the bell icon to be notified on all my new uploads guys as always thank you so so very much for stopping by I love you so very much guys thank you so much and stay blessed until next time guys bye Thank you.